Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another Modern Warfare 2 video. In today's video is exciting, we have some new leaks about Modern Warfare 2. So even though the game is out, DMZ is out, Warzone 2 is out, we still have new leaks regarding new content coming up for Modern Warfare 2. So this is coming from Ralph, as well as it also uh, is also somewhat coming from Tom Henderson. So Ralph put out a tweet the other day, he says, Ghost spin-off campaign in development at Infinity War exclusive. So he put out an article, he says here, we're going to read uh, through his his article, Ghost Spinoff Campaign in Development at Infinity Ward. We're in for an absolute treat. Uh, the highlights of his post are that a Ghost Spinoff Campaign is in conceptual development and an episodic approach to campaign DLC for 2023 likened to Dark Pictures Anthology series. Okay. Starting out here in his article, he says, A plan for an origin campaign is underway at Infinity Ward, fleshing out the story behind the masked enigma Simon Ghost Riley, giving some base to the character's more low-key, superficial appearance. Prior to the release of Modern Warfare 2, Infinity Ward's narrative team expressed some interest in the idea and entertained the possibility of an offshoot campaign centered around one of the Call of Duty's most cemented characters. In an interview with IGN, head writer at Infinity Ward, Brian Bloom, stated, there are others who would like to do that too, and we think that it would be really interesting. And again, that's kind of where this interview started. That there's something about that character that's iconic, but the mask and some of those more superficial elements, as we've attempted to build them out here in our current release, where did some of those things come from? And exploring that and looking at what would be something I think the audience would love, and we'd love to get into. Okay, he says, a look into Ghost's life. Now, fresh off the launch of Modern Warfare 2, plans are reportedly in progress for building out and conceptually bringing this story to life. An associate explicitly revealed that throughout development, the team had approached Simon Ghost Riley's actor, Samuel Rukin, with the notion of further developing his character beyond the boxed release. Whether the spin-off develops into Modern Warfare 2's alleged premium expansion for 2023 remains a mystery. We reached out for comment on whether this was being considered, though I've yet to confirm any suggestive response. The character Simon Ghost Riley quickly gained some virality hot off the release of Modern Warfare 2. Fans were quick to draw up their own art, templates, and trending short-form videos across several popular apps like TikTok and Twitter, providing great reception for the game. Amazingly, the song reaction to the character acted as a partial reason for the idea to go ahead. In conversation with an associate, Modern Warfare 2's sophomore DLC expansion will expand the campaign's story with an intimate, episodic look behind Call of Duty's more established characters, factions, and new blood. Infinity Ward's approach to single-player content for 2023 was likened to supermassive games, the Dark Pictures Anthology series. Okay. So there we go, that was his article. Kind of short article, but uh, kind of interesting nonetheless. That uh, there, He's saying that you know Infinity Ward is kind of in the base stages of coming up with uh, a spin-off story for Ghost, kind of a, you know, like essentially a prequel for him, you know, going through his origins and stuff, how he got the mask, a lot of stuff like that. And I think it'd be kind of cool because, I mean, Ghost is obviously, a, you know, a big part of Modern Warfare 2. He's on the cover of the game, you know, he's like, when you boot up the game, there's Ghost right there, you know, it's like... Yeah, Ghost is a big part of this game, as well as, like, I'm sure if you guys have been on Twitter any time in, like, the last month and a half, uh, you'll have seen, like, tons of, like, everybody uses that Ghost, like, video reaction on, like, everything. <laughs> and honestly, it's kind of hilarious. But, uh, I mean, he's a big part of, you know, like, internet culture at this point, as well as just, you know, Modern Warfare 2. So it makes sense that, you know, they're going to try to spin off and, and do something like this. It seems like he's probably one of the most likely characters to do well in this aspect. But as for if this is going to be the DLC that's going to be coming out in 2023, most likely not. I don't think that uh, it will be ready by then would be my guess. I think that uh, it'll be coming out kind of as its own separate little thing. Um, it sounds like the whole, you know, year two DLC thing is going to be uh, largely different. It sounds like it's mostly going to be like an expansion to the story. It's not going to be a spin-off like this, but instead it's going to pick up with the story most likely with like, say, Makarov, how we had at the end of the Modern Warfare 2 campaign, is what it sounds like. We still have, it's very sparse details on it, but that's what it sounds like right now, as well as also, you know, of course, a bunch of multiplayer and stuff as well. So uh, somebody commented here, they said, this is uh, either the sequel to Ghost or what Ghost was meant to be, and Ralph says it won't be its own premium game, suggested it would be attached to Modern Warfare 2. So it'll be, like he says, suggested it'll be part of Modern Warfare 2, especially because Modern Warfare 2 
2 is supposed to last for at least two years. You know, we're not going to be getting a full game next year, but instead we're going to be getting updates and another, like, basically a huge expansion to Modern Warfare 2. So this game is going to be, like, the base for Call of Duty for at least, like, the next two, three years, and then we're finally going to get a Black Ops game coming out in 2024. So it's going to be a little while, guys. And then Tom Henderson joined in. Uh, he put out a tweet. I couldn't verify it myself, but it makes sense and would do incredibly well if it happens. And he put out an article, Call of Duty Ghost Campaign spinoff is in the works leaker claims insider gaming so here we go uh, call of duty ghosts campaign spinoff is in the works leaker claims as one of the most beloved characters in the history of call of duty franchise it was only a matter of time before simon ghost riley took center stage in 2023 that's a concept that could become a reality as reported via ralph valve on what if gaming a spinoff campaign title featuring modern warfare 2's ghost is in the works if there's one thing that has not yet been done in Call of Duty Universe, it's expansion content focused on individual characters. As the franchise has been an annual release for more than 15 years, there really isn't time for anything other than map packs and cosmetic items. This will be a first for the modern arc of the franchise, and it would shed a much desired light on Ghost's background. Could Ghost be returning in his own game? For a while it seemed as though truly there wouldn't be any new Call of Duty content coming in 2023. Then all of a sudden Activision published a financial report that spoke of a premium release coming in 2023, acting as an expansion to the Call of Duty franchise. It wasn't known what this could be, but industry veteran Jason Schreier weighed in on the news. And so we, uh, we already covered this in a separate video, but we're going to cover it again real quick. Uh, Jason Schreier put out a tweet going back with Charlie Intel, because Charlie Intel was saying that uh, there will be a full new game coming out in 2023, suggesting that you know it'd be Treyarch's next game, but Jason Schreier clarifies this and puts a stop to all these rumors and stuff, and basically is just like, hey, let me set the record straight here, he says. Let me make this super clear. The next game, by Treyarch, is coming out in 2024. Next year, there will be a Modern Warfare 2 premium, or paid, expansion by Sledgehammer. It's supposed to have lots of content. Maybe that's why I call it a full release but it's more Modern Warfare 2. So he says, if Jason Schreier is correct, then we'll see a Modern Warfare 2 expansion land in 2023 that's equal to the size of a full game. That's your Ghost spinoff potential right there. In October, an interview took place between IGN and Infinity Ward's narrative director, Jeffrey Negus, and head writer, Brian Bloom. They spoke length about their desire to create a Call of Duty one-off, an expansion that focuses on Simon Ghost Riley. When nothing was confirmed, there are too many coincidences lining up for it to not to at least be a possibility. What's somewhat unusual, though, is that if a Ghost spinoff is in the works, it's not exactly clear when it will release. Schreier claims that Sledgehammer Games will be working on the 2023 content, whereas Ralph claims that Ghost campaign spin off by Infinity Ward. So will we really see it in 2023? And, uh, you know, he doesn't answer that. He just leaves that open-ended. And they say, so we want more Modern Warfare 2. Uh, when we when Modern Warfare 2 launched, it was in a fairly sorry state, and it's still fighting to recover at present. There were many issues with the base game that were causing players a fair amount of grief, from network instability to spontaneous bans and god mode glitches to unbalanced weapons. It's starting to peter out a little now, but maybe the community has stopped complaining about Modern Warfare 2 now that Warzone 2.0 has launched along with the highly anticipated DMZ mode. Of course, they're now complaining about that instead. Insider Gaming was unable to verify What If Gaming's report. Do you want to see a ghost campaign in 2023? So there we go. That is the end of uh, both articles there. So, yeah, I mean, it'd be very interesting, like I said, uh, how that, you know, Sledgehammer Games is making the game next year, making the expansion next year. So it's like, when does this expansion fit in? I personally think that, uh, you know, if they're in, like, pre-development stage for this and if they are going to release, like, a full expansion next year, I think it makes sense for maybe this, uh, you know, Ghost expansion or something like that to release maybe early 2024. You know, maybe like March or something of 2024, because it sounds like the next Treyarch game, of course, is probably not going to be coming out until probably, you know, October, November of 2024. So if they release something in March or so, that's usually when Call of Duty games really start to dip. It's starting in the spring and kind of towards the summer, is that, you know, they're, of course, really popular in the winter right after they very first come out. And then they start dipping again as people, you know, newer games start coming out and as people, you know, start getting busier and stuff and start losing interest and stuff because they've already played the game for months and months on end. So I think. Personally, I think that's when it's most likely to happen uh, since, you know, we're going to be getting a Sledgehammer expansion. Or if, you know, it is kind of a smaller, like, campaign spinoff, it's only, like, a couple missions and stuff and a couple cutscenes, then uh, I could see it being maybe something releasing earlier this summer. Just a quick, just, like, boom, hurry and drop an expansion this summer, pay $15 for it, and you get to play the Ghost spinoff campaign story thing. And, you know, be, like, its own little tiny mode thing. But uh, I don't know. It's, uh, it kind of remains up to the air. Right now, it's all just a rumor and a leak. 
but uh, take it with a grain of salt. So be kind of interesting. I would like to see stuff like this, you know, kind of some more spin-off stuff like this because the mainline story stuff is fun. But uh, I really would like to see more content, even if it's smaller content like this, added more frequently to the series. I think something like this could really spice things up and, uh, and kind of take the franchise in a new direction. I think it'd be a cool addition and be something interesting to at least try out. So there you go, guys. That is going to do it for our video today. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know you guys' thoughts on this in the comments down below. If you guys are new around here, get subscribed to the channel, as well as give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.